Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the helicopter racing league case study today. The solution architecture of this case study will have four components. The first one is a video transcoding process. The second one is data mark. Third one is real-time analytics and prediction. The last one is visual analytics and dashboarding. Pause the video if you need more time to read the case study before I review the solution architecture. I will leverage the solution architecture from GCP, building a streaming video analytics pipeline. Let's take a look at this reference architecture. It provides ingesting pipeline, real-time analytics pipeline, video intelligence APIs for the prediction, and data store in the BigQuery for the further data visual analytics and dashboarding. I will deep dive into each pipeline and how to enhance them for our case study, then discuss how to end the missed components such as transcoding, monitoring, and BI into this reference architecture. The real-time analytics pipeline in this reference architecture has cloud storage, PubSub, Dataflow, Video Intelligent API, and BigQuery. I will end the transcoding process into its ingesting pipeline, but now I assume the cloud storage has the encoded and transcoded videos. We create the multi-region bucket and enable the cloud CDN in the cloud storage to reduce the viewer latency and also for its global scale and reach. The PubSub notification system for cloud storage will trigger the downstream data flow pipeline. GCP provides two video AIs. One is AutoML Video Intelligence, which has a graphical interface that makes it easy to train your own custom models to classify and track the objects with the videos. The other one is the Video Intelligence API, which has a pre-trained machine learning models that automatically recognize a vast number of objects, plays, and actions in stored and streaming video. GCP does provide the comparison for you to pick up from these two video AIs. The big difference is whether you create a custom labels for the specific needs. In the Cloud Video Intelligence API documentation, it provides the details of its features, such as analyzing the labels, detecting the faces, people, tracking the objects, recognize the logos, text, etc. Under the stream live videos, it points out the support features from the Video Intelligence API streaming API, enables real-time streaming analysis for the live media, and the support the protocols HLS, RSTP, and RTMP from the AR streamer. You should also check on the authenticating to the API before your exam, just in case there are any questions on the authentication. Now let's go back to the reference architecture. The data flow pipeline job processes the video files by using the streaming video intelligence API and stores the result in BigQuery and the PubSub. You should use the multi-region BigQuery if you have any questions to the decrease latency and improve the availability and durability. The recovery and fill over process is managed by the BigQuery. BigQuery does, has, does have a ML and a BI foundation building. You can also integrate BigQuery with Data Lab or the AI platform as needed to train any ML mod models. Please review my video BigQuery last minute cheat sheet for the details. Uh, you can use BigQuery data with, uh, with the Google Cloud Data Studio or the partner BI tools like Lucas or Tableau for the visual analytics and dashboarding. The other missing component is the video transcoding process. 
in the ingesting pipeline. I highlight the components in the transcoding process. You should create a new bucket in the cloud storage for uploading the video either from your trunk data center or the directly recording from the uh, trace trackers or, from, or even from the REST API from the source applications. Use the cloud function to trigger the transcoder API when the video uploads in the bucket or run the application in the app engine to call the transcoder API. After transcoding, upload the file to the bucket that we mentioned in the above real-time analytics pipeline. So there are at least two buckets in the cloud storage. You should go through this quick start to understand how to create a basic video transcoding job using the transcoder API before your exam. Pay attention to setting up the cloud CDN with the backend bucket. The data mart in this case study has the cloud storage with cloud CDN for both raw and transcoded data, data flow to process data and store the result in the BigQuery. You can use the Cloud SQL or Data Store to manage the fan profiles. The last component is the Cloud Monitoring and the Cloud Logging. You should end them into this reference architecture to monitor, troubleshoot, and improve the application performance. I mentioned the both in the Mount Kirk Games and EHR Healthcare case studies. Please review them in those videos. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.